Hey GCF, happy Saturday and welcome to church. If you are new or a visitor here, I just wanna say welcome. We are so glad to have you. My name is Judah Robinson and I have the three things that you need to know for this week. Our first thing is that I want to remind you that we are doing another Sunday morning service experiment in conjunction with the United Methodist Church, and this will be on Sunday, August the 13th. Therefore, we will not meet on Saturday, August the 12th. We will meet Sunday, August the 13th at 10 o'clock a.m., not 10.30 like last time, but 10 o'clock a.m. This is another experiment to see how things go with us sharing this space on Sunday mornings with United Methodist Church. So don't forget about that. More details will be sent out that week. The parking plan will be the same as last time, but we'll send out that information the week of. And along with that, on Saturday, August 19th, that's the week after the experiment, our elders will be available for a time of anybody who has questions or concerns about the possibility of us moving back to Sunday morning worship, depending on how these experiments go. So if you have any questions or concerns about the possibility of us going back to Sunday morning worship, please keep your ears open for the time of that meeting. That will be Saturday, August 19th, but we will let you know what time a meeting with our elders to voice your questions or concerns. So make sure to mark your calendars for that. You can also check out Pastor Jason's e-note that he sent out a couple weeks ago about the vision of doing these Sunday experiments. If you have not gotten that e-note, you can mark your connect card for that. Our second thing is that TMS, the missions organization, is working with our intercultural partners as well as our reaching globally team here domestically at GCF to help give them some support. And so they are looking for some feedback from us as the church about our church and mission. So they have a survey that they sent out that you can find in your e-weekly or your e-news with a few questions about the church and mission. So we're asking everybody that can to fill that survey. You can find the link again in your e-weekly or your e-news. There's a QR code as well as a URL link that you can click on. So go check that out and fill that survey. It will really help them with them working on missions and our global impact here at GCF. And our third thing is that our Loving Locally team is putting on a school supply drive to collect some school supplies for kids in the area that really need it. So if you would consider getting some, or collecting or purchasing some school supply items and then bringing them to the church, we will collect them here and make sure they get to the people who need them. You can check your e-weekly or e-news for the types of things that we are looking for. There's a list there. Again, you can bring those to the church and we'll make sure we'll get them. You can also donate funds specifically towards that. The team will use that to buy school supplies to go towards those kids who need them. The last day to bring those donations is August the 9th. So we were looking to get those in before August the 9th. And as always, don't forget to fill out your Connect card, especially if you have any questions or any prayer requests you'd like to share with us. You can do that easily right now by reaching in the pew back in front of you and filling out the physical Connect card, or you can text the word Connect to the number on your screen, 859-279-4212. And also don't forget about the easy ways you can give your tithes and offerings, including our website, gcfvineyard.church. You can also text the same number I just mentioned, 859-279-4212. Just text the word GIVE and we'll get some options back to you. Or if you are in person this week, you can go to the hub and see Melanie in the lobby to give by all the physical means. That's all we have for this week. As always, thanks for listening and have a great week.